Okay, okay so, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going, going to, to, I'm going to, oh, oh shoot. shoot, okay, okay so, so I'm, I'm echoing. echoing. Hold, Hold on. on. Is that, that not a voice <laughs> mod? I am going to calmly explain how to beat an ostrich. Right. Quote unquote calmly, and this is because I saw a video of Slimesicle explaining how to beat an ostrich, and I thought it was pretty funny, and now I have an idea. <laughs> Alright. How to survive an encounter with an ostrich. Ostriches can be found in the wild, on safaris, or on ostrich farms, but regardless of where you find them, Treat them with the utmost caution. Although they do, do, do not prey on humans, they have been known to injure and kill when provoked. Extremely fast on foot, they can deliver their mortal blows by the sheer force of their legs. Never mind the lethally sharp talons of their toes. The best thing you could do is stay Yo, you clear. Got, you got to do another. You got a different voice. You need to do a different voice change. And keep your distance. If you don't bother them, it is unlikely that they will bother you. Failing that, ducking for cover and hiding works best. As a last resort, you may even have to fight them. It's... Evading a charging ostrich. Run for nearby cover. Expect ostriches to attain speeds of 43 miles per hour, 70 kilometers, over open ground. If there is dense vegetation or woods close enough for you to reach before the ostrich reaches you, sprint for that. Prevent the ostrich from attaining optimum speed so it has less chance of outrunning you. If there is more sturdy cover than vegetation, such as a car or man-made structure, go for that. A kick from an ostrich's leg can hit you with an impact of 500 PSI, which is enough to kill a human. If you don't think you can make it, DO NOT attempt it! Ostriches are extremely fast, and will attack by kicking you in the back as soon as they catch up to you. Conceal yourself. Rest assured, while ostriches do eat meat, they stick to insects, small reptiles, and rodents. Understand that a provoked ostrich will chase humans primarily because it feels threatened, not because it wants to eat them. At your first opportunity, duck behind cover that conceals you from view, rather than risk a prolonged chase. Expect this the ostrich to lose interest once it thinks that you are gone. 3. Elevate yourself. Remember that an ostrich is incapable of flight. If no hiding places are to be found on the ground level, climb a tree, fence, or other structure, wait for ostrich to lose interest and leave before coming back down. An ostrich typically stands seven to nine feet tall. Although it has no teeth, it may jab at you with this beak and potentially upset your balance. Balance. Seek a higher elevation to keep out of range. Four. Dive into a thorn bush. What? Wait, th this is number four. Opt for getting pricked by thorns instead of disemboweled by the ostrich's razor sharp talons. If no other hiding spots are available, jump straight into a thorn bush. Wait for the ostrich to leave before climbing out. Expect the ostrich to refrain from poking its head in after you in order to protect its large eyes. Lay on the ground. Resist the urge to run for cover or elevation if it is too far away. Instead, 
play I'm dead as a last ditch for God's sake, phone. As a last ditch effort, lay your stomach on the ground. Cover the back of your head with your arms to protect your skull. Brace yourself to the ostrich to toy with you. Wait oh, for it into the dire of this and move before getting back up. <laughs> Be aware that this method may still result in an injury. The risk of injury from the force of impact of an ostrich's kiss is dramatically reduced when you lay down. The ostrich kicks forward, then downward with most of its force being spent in the forward motion. The talons still pose a danger. Lie on your stomach to better protect your organs, since the ostrich may break you with his talons. The ostrich may stand or even sit before it tires. The ostrich may weigh 198 to 300. <laughs> this is implying that the ostrich sits on you. Hold on. <laughs> Fending off an ostrich. Use a long weapon! If you are forced to defend yourself against an ostrich, avoid close quarters combat. Keep as far oh, out of its what? reach as of its legs as you can. Use the nearest, longest object that can be used as a weapon, such as a pole, rake, broom, or branch. If you have a gun and you need to use it, <laughs> aim for the Aim for the ostrich's main body to better ensure hitting your target. Although they will be attacking with their legs and or beak. Their legs and neck are very thin and easy to miss. Next. Two, keep to the ostrich's side. Consider yourself at most risk when the two of you are face to face. Remember that an ostrich is only able to kick its legs directly in front of it. Stay behind or to the side of the bird as much as possible to keep clear of its most powerful weapon. Three, aim for the neck. Consider this to be the ostrich's weakest body part. Strike it where it is most vulnerable and leave protected to defeat it more quickly. Failing that with no space because Wiki House sucks. Aim for the breast. Con concentrate your efforts between the two as opportunity affords. Continue to strike until it quits and runs away. Four, damages wings. If the ostrich refuses to give up despite your attacks to its neck, aim for its wings when giving the opportunity. Know that an ostrich uses its wings not for flights, but to alter more slowly when running. Just like a ship's other damaging may may marginally improve your chances of running away in a zigzag fashion when you are forced to retreat. Go for its legs. If you find yourself behind or to the side of an ostrich with an easy shot to one of its legs, take it. Know that the ostrich's center of gravity depends entirely upon those two skinny legs. If you're given the chance, deliver water, both or blow to upset its balance, speed, and striking power. <laughs> Method so, three: like God speaking encounters. from heaven. Be aware. <laughs> and you're telling humans how not to be stupid. <laughs> beware of your surroundings. Whenever you are in an area that may be home to ostriches, evaluate the landscape. Escape. Avoid open areas. Sit close to cover and note the areas that will be most safe to retreat to should you encounter an ostrich. I just scrolled all the way down on accident. That's not good. Avoid open and note which areas would be the most safe to retreat to should you encounter an ostrich that charges you. Avoid close contact. Maintain your distance when you spot an ostrich in the wild. Consider any distance less than 112 yards, 100 meters, as too close. 
If an ostrich advances towards you, back away. Even if the, the ostrich appears calm, never back one into a corner, since it will trigger a fight response instead of a flight one. Although images of people petting, kissing, and even riding ostriches may lead you to believe that it is safe to repose them, note that such images are of tamed ostriches from farms. Even these birds should be treated as this with the same caution as respect as wild ones from the imagery. Beware ostriches during breeding season. <laughs> Consider what? them to be at their most easily provoked at this time, especially males who are tasked with protecting the females' eggs. Since ostriches tend to roam in pairs or alone at other times of the year, recognize breeding season by presence of herds numbering anywhere from 5 to 50 ostriches at a time. Identify males by their black feathers, white wingtips, and tail plumes, and the red flush that appears on the front of their legs. Distinguish, distinguish females by their brown feathers, and gray wingtips, and plumes. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that that was probably the biggest stretch I've ever done. <laughs>